I am Charles Burns. I am a certified rigger. The rigger's responsibilities are to inspect the rigging, know the working capacity, and to properly attach it to the load. Here I'll explain a few major considerations for inspecting the rigging. Inspection considerations. Knots and kinks reduce capacity by 50%. Here we have a rope with a knot in it. It would reduce the capacity by 50%. Next, hooks must have a hook latch. Here we have a hook and it doesn't have a latch. This is what a hook latch looks like right here. Next, no loops with U-bolts. Here we have a cable with a loop around it and they use U-bolts to attach it. This would not be okay for rigging. No bolted together or welded together. Here we have a chain, it was too short, so they added another chain on it and they bolted together. This would not be okay for rigging. Next, no tears or frays in slings. Here we have a sling with a fray or tear in it, that would be taking out of service. Chains and slings must have a tag. Here you can see there's no tag on this sling, they cut it off because of the tear. Next, grade 8 or T-steel only. <clears throat> Here we have this hook, but there's no marking with an 8 or a T on it, so this would not be good for rigging. Thank you.